Good morning, friends. Welcome to Slaying the Stethoscope. I'm Sequoia. I'm a pre-med student about to enter my master's program at Meharry Medical College. We will be traveling up to Meharry this week to tour some apartments and tour the school. So I'm going to take you guys with me. It's currently 3 a.m. I just let the dog out so that she could eat and use the bathroom. And then I'm going to start getting ready. And my mom is already getting ready. So we're taking Daisy on a little walk before we leave. It's about 3.30. So a little bit about me. I'm a graduate of Norfolk State University in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, I graduated with my Bachelor's of Science in Biology December 2022. Right now I will be doing a master's program in at Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee. I plan to move to Nashville even if the program is online. Simply because being home, I wouldn't be able to do a program online. There's way too many distractions at home. I currently live in a small town in Florida. So we will be driving up to Nashville. It's about a 10 hour drive or so, which is about what my drive was when I was going to Norfolk State. I've never taken Daisy on like a long car ride. The longest car ride we went was to another city for the animal hospital. So I don't know how this is gonna go. She tends to throw up in my car, so I gave her some Benadryl. We're gonna see how that goes. I work at a FQHC or a federally, federally Qualified Health Center, which basically means that the federal government gives us money to serve the underserved, take people without insurance and immigrants. So working there, we have medical, dental, um, women's health, behavioral, pediatrics. The dentist in my office also went to Meharry. That's where he went for dental school and that's where he met his wife. He gave me a list of recommendations for places to eat. So we're gonna check some of those out. If you read the intro, then you see that I have lupus. I was diagnosed with systemic lupus in March of 2023. Luckily, it was found very early. I managed pretty well. I have a rheumatologist here in Florida, but I, I'm looking to get the health insurance from the school and try to um, get a rheumatologist in Nashville as well, just in case, because he does a good job of managing me here and he has throughout school. So I just wanna, you know, cross my T's and dot my eyes. For those of you that don't know what lupus is, is it's a um, autoimmune condition in which your antibodies basically attack all your healthy cells. It tends to target the joints, muscles, kidneys, um, but it's systemic, so it could target anything at any given time. We usually manage with medicine and health eating habits. In fact, I'm about to go on a renal diet as soon as I get to Nashville because it's just something that I wanted to, I wanted to do, but I, being home, everybody's eating habits is around me, so I can't do that. Daisy, where is he? So we're at our first rest stop in Osceola. And Daisy's in the back seat. She was such a good girl. Hey, Ma. When well, you got the car, Daisy threw her straight, straight up. <laughs> Say hey, Ma. Hey. <laughs> but you knew that already. When I found you, when I found you, and died. Now you come into my yard, uninvited. Okay, we 
are somewhere in Georgia. I don't know where, but we got Zaxby's. And Daisy. Daisy Weezy. Hey, girl. Daisy has been a great dog on this trip. I'm honestly surprised. She hasn't thrown up in the car. No barking at people. It's, it's honestly a miracle. So I'm about to take my meds. I'm like an hour late, but I usually take them on a full stomach. Because um, they make me have a headache if I don't. They say she ain't playing that job. They said, don't be leaving me. It appears they don't allow people of color in this community. Where I am, there are a bunch of white people. And, and I know that I'm about to go to white Atlanta, AKA Nashville, but there's a Confederate flag. And they're Christian. Christian Confederate white people are the most dangerous in America. good morning friends it's a little loud because we're right next to the highway um i forgot to record after we got to the hotel because we were pretty much exhausted hey come in so right now daisy is out in this doggy field that they have for the animals okay so it's 6 a.m we just came from the field where daisy um does her do um we have four apartment tours today they're all around the same area it's, the first one's only about 10 minutes away and then they're all fairly close to that we're back in the field because daisy had the potty before we get some breakfast about 8 a.m so we're gonna stop to probably i have to get some breakfast and then we'll be on our way for the tours Today we toured two places. Um, we were supposed to do four, but the first place really sold me. So it really sold me. They have like a lot of discounts, I guess you could say, discounts or incentives. Um, like I would have a $1,200 credit, which basically means that the first three months I get $400 off, $400 off my rent. Um, the rent is only like $1,150 and then $35 a month for the dog fee. Speaking of the dog, it's like $35 for the dog fee. So it's not too bad and it's within budget. 
um it's about 20 minutes for the school but I, it could be up to an hour if there's like super super traffic i did go to the school today i went up there to handle some financial aid things take a few pictures i got my student id i think that was it just financial aid and the student id which didn't take very long actually the lady at the front desk for financial aid remembered me from my emails so it didn't take long um basically she said that i could have applied for grad plus earlier but our email said like within 30 days of the start date of the of classes of the first day of classes so yeah pro tip there <laughs> if you're watching this and you're about to go to grad school you don't have to wait to apply 30 days before which was attached in my email but i digress i might go back tomorrow so i applied for grad plus and i applied for that apartment hopefully i get the apartment i have been approved for grad plus and then i just have to go up there and email her and let her know or talk to her and let her know that i did apply and i was approved so that she can get all my stuff handled and then i get a letter from the school basically saying that i will be having whatever lump sum left over from my loan scholarships and grants to pay for all my living expenses that is what the apartment needs in order to um basically approve me for the apartment it's like the equivalent of having three times the rent my co-workers are a bunch of alcoholics and um they asked for tennessee whiskey and moonshine so i went to the liquor store and i got that but now they asking for more so i'll probably have to do that tomorrow and um somebody asked for a shot glass and i think i'm gonna pick up a few few keychains we're gonna probably explore the city tomorrow so well, I'll take you guys along for that. But that's pretty much all of day two, technically. Who has the most spoiled dog in the world? Me! <laughs> so, my pastor found me a pastor up here. Shut up. <laughs> she know what I'm about to say. My pastor found me a pastor up here. The man yeah. said that he was three blocks away from Meharry. Mm -hmm. My mama put in the address. Why did we end up 15 minutes away? And I turned into an empty parking lot. I said, Ma, this is not a church. It was a church. <laughs> <laughs> it was a church. It was, it was the invisible McDonald's church. <laughs> I said, Ma, this is not a church. She got the numbers wrong. Yeah. How far away was the... Was the um, was the church from the school like three blocks three blocks but we ended up 15 minutes away the opposite direction the opposite direction <laughs> in the bathroom while I'm taking a shower and steal my clothes. A shirt and a bra. Now they got dog hair all over them. Had to change my clothes. Luckily, I always pack an extra outfit. So, hmm. But yeah, you got anything you wanna say to these people? Don't turn your head. You got anything you wanna say for yourself? I spoke about it yesterday, but financial aid told me that I could have applied for grad plus earlier. Um, this is my note to everybody. Please apply for grad plus early. I did get approved and I think I got approved for the amount that I needed to basically live off the loans. So I feel like I should be good in that area. However, I wish I would have known that information earlier. And if I didn't know it, then I know somebody else didn't know it. So apply for grad plus earlier the the guaranteed loans that i have cover tuition and fees so tuition and fees pay for don't have to worry about that all i have to worry about is living off my living expenses is which is what grad plus would have covered for me so if they tell you 30 days before 
apply 60 days before please because i don't want for any of y'all to not have the funds that you need to do your master's program that's that's or your post bag or your doctorate or or dental whatever what have you now there is a limit on how much you can get from grad plus in a lifetime i want to say the limit is like 180 something in a lifetime so please keep that in mind when you're applying to these programs and when you're calculating your living expenses um for me i'm trying to do the bare minimum <laughs> i'm trying to do the bare minimum i'm trying to have like a nice place but i'm not living in a high rise when i know that you know I, the money might run out so don't don't overdo it but to each is their own for me it's just i was looking for a one bedroom one bath just enough space in the living room really so that i could have my desk for me i was looking for a one bedroom one bath so that i could have enough in enough space in the living room so that i could have my desk and that daisy can have an area the bedrooms that i seen on the visits that we went yesterday were pretty decent i applied for the first apartment that we toured what i showed you guys was the two bedroom but the one bedroom wasn't finished. They were doing renovations on it. So I didn't get any pictures or videos of the one bedroom, but the two bedroom is pretty nice. I wish I had a little more funds to get the two bedroom because it was set up pretty nice. And that's usually, that's probably what I would have set it up as with the office being across from the bedroom and spacious bedroom, enough room in the living room for, you know, entertainment and and enough space for the dog the kitchen was nice but the setup is kind of the same i i guess you guys will see it if i move into the place but the setup is kind of the same i don't have to do anything else right now i did do the application and pay my application fee i uploaded my approval letter from grad plus and then today hopefully i'll stop back to meharry and go to financial aid and get the uh letter basically stating how much money i'm gonna have left over for however long or whatever um and then we're probably gonna tour nashville for real today like go inside the city i told you guys there's a lot of places that dr hicks um suggested to me so if they're in nashville and he gave me a couple places that's near meharry so we'll probably do that and hopefully i can get like an actual tour maybe of meharry maybe <laughs> i don't know much about the campus and there are still probably some classes going on actually there should be classes going everybody should be on campus right now because their new class starts june 20th which was this week so it should be the first week of classes for the in, the incoming m1s so everybody should be on campus today and i don't want to disrupt anybody on campus or anything because my mom um is loud for sure for sure she's loud so <laughs> i don't want to disrupt anybody on campus but we're gonna see if i can maybe walk around show the tour i did get a temporary parking pass the lady gave me a parking pass up until august 31st when that is done then i have to renew it but she says that i would be getting an email like the first week of classes and it'll be an email basically saying to renew so i'll do that when the time comes i have to look up how much the parking pass is to make sure that i have the money okay what i was saying before i was interrupted by a phone call was that i don't want to interrupt anybody's class schedule because my harry's um m1 should have started this week i think the m2s were already on campus and m3s and m4s are doing their rotations so I'm gonna try to get some content of the school, probably more like the student center and um, parking garage or whatever. Whatever I can go to, um, I'll probably get content of that or some videos of that. But there's no like real guarantee because I don't even think they're doing in-person tours. So I, I might reach out to somebody from the group chat and see if they know the campus a little better and see if I can find some things. It was a miracle that I was able to find financial aid yesterday, so we'll see. 
We might try to meet the pasta that we tried to meet yesterday that my mom had us in the wrong area for. So, um, if so, you guys will be seeing my new church home when I get up here. He seems to be like a pretty cool guy from what I see online and what my pastor says about him. He's fairly young, about as old as my brother, like 38 or something. So, we will see if we will meet him today or at least stop out of church and meet some of the people there. So, I swear by this. I, I swear by this. Especially what happened with lupus and had it in to be protected from the sun. Uh huh. Swear by it. The adults, the kids, it don't matter. Like I said, there was lectures going on <laughs> in the library. <laughs> there was almost nobody in there though. They had lecture at in the basement of the library because it's first week of classes for the dental and the med students. They started this week. So that's what they were probably doing down there. Medical library though, their library is like huge. Huge is bigger than what I'm used to. I'll say that. Four floors, you would have hated the stairs. Yeah. That's a pretty scenery. Yeah, Maybe you four need to floors. get a picture of me right there. What? I need to get a picture of her. Yes. I want a Mercedes Jeep or a Lexus Jeep. Why are you telling me that? I'm just telling you that you know that's mine. <laughs> What happened to you? Seems like they're building something like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm on the way to the liquor store again because I'm getting the doctor that I work with, I'm getting him a, probably a Tennessee whiskey or a Kentucky bourbon, something like that. He drinks that dark stuff, I mean, yeah. Um, and then some other people requested moonshine. Somebody wanted peach, 
I'm gonna text them in the group chat and see what they want, but I'm on the way there right now. So I was in an organization called Top Teens of America. Basically, it's under the umbrella of Top Ladies of America, which is a community service organization. So that was back when I was a teen. Um, I was in that organization for about three years. Don't do that. I was in that organization for about three years. Anyways, a lady who lives up here in Nashville, because they have national chapters over all across the um, the nation. So a lady who lives up here in Nashville, she was given my number by someone in my city and she invited us to dinner. So we're gonna go out to dinner. So I'm gonna change for that. I'm just gonna put on my Mahari shirt and jeans. And then, um, yeah, that'll probably conclude our night because we're leaving out at 4 a.m. tomorrow. I've taken care of most of everything that I need to at Meharry. I've gotten my student ID. I handled some financial aid stuff. I was given the ladies contact for the health insurance. So I think, I think I'm good right now. Back from the liquor store, I have a whole box of alcohol because my co-workers are alcoholics. <laughs> They're alcoholics. I have like four bottles of moonshine, two bottles of Tennessee whiskey, and a bottle of Kentucky bourbon. Like I was talking about with the top lady that contacted me, we'll be having dinner tonight at five. It's a place that I don't think was on Dr. Hicks's list. So we're going to test it out. We're going to try it and maybe I'll get some content of that. And then we will be on our way back home in the morning. Overall, the trip has been pretty good. I've gotten a lot done, so I'm not complaining about that. Now, Nashville. I know I said it's white Atlanta, and, and it very much is is white Atlanta, but y'all can do something about these roads because the roads are bad, y'all. Like in Virginia, the roads are skinny, so it'll make you feel like you're about to hit somebody. Here, the roads it feels like it's hitting you so the roads are extremely bumpy i don't know what it is i don't know what y'all got going on um where the money is going but please fix the roads god please fix the roads you know you at a hbcu when you are in the hood meharry is right next to the projects and fisk is across the street from meharry and tennessee state is around the corner Yesterday it was very rainy. Today is in the 80s. Doesn't feel as bad as Florida, I guess. Like I've been doing okay without shade, so I feel like that's good enough. Because in Florida, I will not walk out the house without shades because once the sun hits my eyes, I have a headache. And I'm, I've am i been doing pretty good here, so I don't think that the sun is any any worse than it is in Florida. So... I think I'll be okay. I've yet to find my cowboy hat. So I, I, I don't know. We're going to have to go to Walmart or something because I, I don't have a cowboy hat and I, I, don't, have a cow, I don't have a cowboy boots. And, and I feel like that's essential to being in Tennessee. Like you got to get the cowboy hat and the boots. I did get a little bit of content for the library. Honestly right now okay right now not being a med student i will say that the library gets an eight out of ten i only give it an eight because i wish that there were more like single study rooms kind of like the study rooms all seem like they fit a decent group of people i don't i didn't get to see the basement because they were having lecture halls so you know it is what it is but it has four floors at the very top floor is where you have all of the medical textbooks i guess you could say which i got some videos of some of those i'm very much a read it in a book type of person kind of if you if i can read it in a book and then put it into a presentation i feel like i'm pretty good so those books may come in handy i feel like i'm going to be studying at the library a lot um i don't know the library's hours though should probably figure that out before i come back 
but um i feel like i'll be studying in the library a lot it, it overlooks Met, um, metro general which is the basically the meharry hospital it's right there the campus seems like everything is very compact like you don't have to walk very far for everything but there's a bunch of hills so you gotta walk up the steps or up a hill or something like that which my mom as y'all seen was struggling with that <laughs> she was struggling with that but i think i'll be okay I'm really hoping for that first apartment. I, when I went to my Harry, I got my letter that I could give to the apartment building for the, basically saying that I will be getting money from the school for my apartment. So I have that letter. I'm going to scan it um, because I don't want to like lose the copy basically because I am like horrible with papers sometimes. So I don't want to lose the copy. We're going to scan that and then I would... I guess email it to the the lady that showed us the apartment and see if that's good enough or if she needs something else and then i'll if she needs something else i'll just talk to the financial aid it's 2 p.m right now and we're gonna have dinner at five so i got like two hours two hours two and a half hours to like relax so i'm gonna go upstairs Try to lay down, relax, and then I'll get dressed to go out to eat. And that chicken from that place, that's one of the places that Dr. Hicks recommended. It was, I said chicken. The catfish was actually pretty good. Check up on it. Check up on it. Check up on it. I'm gonna let you work up on it. Ladies, let them check up on it. Check up on it. Check up on it. I'm gonna let you work up on it. Ladies, let them check up on it. but I haven't found a cowboy hat so and they don't have no records so it's kind of a bust right now gotta go find my mama back in the field with Daisy dinner was a success Walmart was a bust she seems like she's like super cool uh very relatable I feel like she's gonna be a great resource for me she has lived in Nashville all her life so she knows the area pretty well and she collects records just like me um she has lupus just like me apparently so yeah I think she'll be a great resource and hopefully we can connect some more she had most of her family is up here Most of her family is up here and they they are also in that organization. So I feel like I can find a, a decent amount of people to help me out here. So we'll see what happens. We're about to start to pack what we can right now. Probably put some things in the car and then we'll be going to bed and getting ready to leave in the morning. We'll pass by the mountains again and hopefully I'll get better pictures and videos. guys we're about halfway home so i'm just gonna end the vlog here uh remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one